I want Ubuntu base, but I don't want to use Ubuntu. Ah, yes. So what distribution do you think of when you hear that phrase? Let me guess. Linux Mint. Or maybe Zorin OS. Maybe even Pop OS. But there's another one. So there is, of course, Tuxedo OS. And what is Tuxedo OS, you might ask? Well, Tuxedo Computers, a computer distributor overseas, uh, I believe in Germany. Basically, what they've done is they've created their own distribution called Tuxedo OS. I know. And it's essentially a semi-rolling release. So what, of course, it's based on Ubuntu and they've go and slap on a couple of additional updates onto it. So it generally uses the Ubuntu RTS edition and as time moves forward, uh, important updates such as some kernel updates, graphics drivers updates, they will push out to the public. And generally theirs is based on uh, KDE. So kind of, uh, it's kind of like Pop! OS, but imagine Pop! OS with KDE really on top of it. What's uh, important to know is that of course it's optimized for their machines that they sell makes kind of sense and a couple of the apps that's on the distribution only works on their machines which i mean makes sense the rest of it of course is pretty much a st pretty much a normal distribution that you can install on any machine and that's what we're going to look at today tuxedo os 2 which i believe is based on ubuntu 2204 so i've downloaded the installer and first thing it does is gives us this nice welcome. I've changed it to American English. My German isn't very good. I'm in LA. And the first thing it wants is, of course, to just configure the locales. And what we're going to do is we're going to install this distribution. And then we're going to take a look at it. The nice thing is if you have Tuxedo OS hardware already, you don't have to do too much when it comes to... Uh, updating it mostly would do it automatically so that was the first portion so let's go to install tuxedo OS and it's remembered the American English from earlier we're gonna erase the disk of course we're gonna do swap to file we can use ext4 xfs ptfs I use ext4 my name of course it is gosh and we'll call this tuxedo WM we'll give this the strongest password I can think of uh, we won't require the strong passwords. Okay, we're gonna hit install. Install now, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna let this thing install, and we'll come back. Okay, that's done. That was quick, that was about two minutes. Let's restart, and stupidly quick. I mean, that was stupidly quick. Okay, first thing, let's, uh, let this, let's apply some updates. So let's see our updates first. And we have 136 megs of updates. So let's update all of it. Okay, while it does that, I'm going to fix resolution and I'll come back once the updates are installed and we've rebooted. Okay, updates being applied and I fix the resolution. So let's look at this. Okay, so based, of course, on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, it's using a newer kernel version, 6.5. It's using KD Plasma 5.27. So really, really, relatively up-to-date uh, software that's been installed on top of it, except obviously for a couple of base packages, which is a nice cross between having something that's completely and utterly stable and something that is completely up-to-date. Uh, 1.4 gigs of memory used, but 13 gigs of disk space, and hardly any CPU usage. So let's take a look here. Okay, so interesting wallpaper they've got. Uh, other wallpapers, I'm just taking a look. Uh, and the only reason I'm really looking at wallpapers is usually companies, uh, if they have their own distribution, will add their own like, little wallpaper on top of it. Um, like, ooh, that looks... Uh, Interesting. Ooh, nice plant. Ooh, uh, they're going for that whole blocky, non-blocky type thing. 
But anyway, we want to look at more than just the wallpaper. So starting off at the bottom, of course, they have the control center. Okay, now you can choose your uh, language, and of course we want English. And interestingly enough, this is one of those apps. These features are not available. Why? Because we're not running this on a tuxedo hardware. Uh, but generally, it gives you options of different profiles uh, where you can uh, configure your power, how much oomph you need from a machine, or you're running it on battery and you need to, uh, you know, save power, all of that, which is, you know, this is so simple. I know other distributions have something similar, but I really wish this was a main standard in Linux. Like it is in Windows. This is, this is fantastic. Uh, tools, uh, change your, your shutdown timer, right? Uh, your keyboard brightness. Okay, my keyboard, of course, doesn't have a backlight here. Uh, your webcam. So just, just a small section of a couple of uh, additional settings. Um, right. Uh, you're interested in your defaults, how you configure your defaults. Um, uh, your default uh, profile settings, right? Your theme. Uh, you, so we can just hit your dark and immediately it's dark theme. I mean, that's just awesome. Um, so, of course, this is a dedicated application that only works with the hardware, so additional troubleshooting. And, of course, what you can do with Tuxedo hardware is kind of like a Mac. You can boot it up in a recovery mode and it will re-download uh, the OS and do what you need to do to it. So, there really awesome uh, looking at the menu here starting at the bottom of course um, there's the utilities normal software installed here you know okay to K right next cloud desktop really nice they have this web FI creator which uh, basically looks like a rebranded version of Billina Etcher yeah it does doesn't it so that's basically just to go ahead and make uh, bootable disks or whatever you need to do here. So um, that looks pretty interesting. Okay, I'm just going to close that. Science and Math, LibreOffice Formula, Normal Office will be LibreOffice. Right, so we'll just write a document. Uh, okay, I'm just going to close this. And we're using 7.571, so not too old at all. So it's exit LibreOffice. Uh, multimedia, we have Hamso, Elisa, VLC, Internet, KTorrent, Thunderbird, Gwenview, Ocular, Games, we have my own minds to do conversions, and development, we have Kate. So not too much. Uh, additional software on top of this so it's not bloated really at all giving the user the option to add what they want to add on their own um, and then of course if we do a near fetch right it will see immediately a succeeder and the very nice thing about this there are no snap packages so if you want ubuntu and you don't want snappy snap and you want KDE, this is the distribution you want to use. It does by default uh, have flat packs enabled. So if we go to the settings of Discover, Discover KDE's package manager, not my favorite, but I understand why they use it. Uh, you'll see there's the Flathub repo here, as well as their own repos, as well as Ubuntu's repo. So pretty nifty. So let's say I want to install SuperTux. It'll again give me the options of Ubuntu Jammy. Uh, universe aka default dev packages or do I want to use flat pack packages so really nice to see that out of the box which is absolutely pretty cool to be honest with you and I have to admit as performance goes this is just you know even in a virtual environment I find this a lot quicker than uh, Kubuntu and some other base distributions so, you know, looking further here, around here for any of the additional tuxedo stuff, there isn't really any, because it's not really meant for this uh, type of machine. But you know, you're gonna ask, who should use this? Well, if you want a reliable, well-supported Linux distribution base, Ubuntu, folks, that is what it is. 
and you prefer KDE and you want a couple of additional features to it, why not use a tuxedo? Possibly might be better on their own uh, systems, but even if it's not on your own system, a great alternative to something like uh, Kubuntu or even um, KDE's own uh, distribution as well. This is a great uh, option to, to use, honestly. Folks, if you use this, let me know. If you have your comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.